look at that. That is so fantastic. Oh my God. Morning, so I join you once again by the side of a car and basically I'm just gonna walk up a hill just behind me here I've I've driven quite high up and then the view should be fantastic for sunrise but there is cloud all over the horizon so I think there's zero chance of getting the sunrise still gonna go up the big problem is I was gonna get my breakfast this morning at the garage but it, it was closed, it only opened at 7 a.m. So I've just had an apple. Trusty apple, I didn't drop it down the mountain. I was gonna take it up and I thought, no, be safe, eat it before I get to the top. So I've had an apple and then the nearest place to eat from here is 20 kilometers away. So I'm gonna go up here, take a shot and then go and find somewhere to eat my breakfast, which will be so tasty. Okay. Right, get my stuff, let's go. Remember my water. about three quarters of the way anyway. Let me show you the view and why it's worth it. Oh, that was tough. around about 20 past seven so about 40 minutes till sunrise and it's, it's sunrise is over there which is at the moment where there's just a glimmer of a chance of getting some golden light and the thing is up here is that there's an obvious composition which is this s curve in the sort of fjord that goes down to the village at the end you can't quite see actually but if you walk further that way then you can see it with with stunning mountains on that side and i think there's going to be some great light that comes into that fjord so i'll definitely take that but whilst i've got a little bit of time what i'm going to do is just scout out a little bit so i'm going to walk down this way and see if i can find some it's, well i say down it's up some quite serious cliffs actually i can see if i can find some other composition in that direction and the key thing is that when it is sunrise, I need to have probably a couple of compositions ready to go that are quite close together. So I can take one, you know, and then have the other one and, and be able to put my tripod back where, where I set it up. So I'm not really looking for a composition when the light comes, I've already got that composition. It's starting to snow. Well, snow's okay. And, and that's it really. Just enjoy it. And there's hardly any wind, which is probably very rare for this time of year on the top of this mountain. Ah, oh, it doesn't get any better than this. Wow.
look at this look at that that is so fantastic oh my god right i'm gonna have to be really quick here i've put my camera down over here you might not be able to hear me but i don't care so right so what i'm trying to do is a big pano i've decided that it lends itself well to a really big panoramic so as quick as i can i'm making sure i don't burn out those highlights because that would be criminal. I'm going to take a pano going round. And I've got it set at around 50 millimetres. And I just keep going, overlapping by about a half. And I've got my tripod level. So the most important thing is your tripod's level so that you're pivoting round. Now, because I've no foreground in the scene, the fact that my camera's off-axis doesn't really matter. That is absolutely amazing. <laughs> What I'm going to do now is just, I'm going to take this off here. I'm going to put a longer lens on because there's some really interesting detail through that mountain over there. So I'm going to put on my 50 to 200 on my, so 50 to 200 on my Fuji. Yeah, that's good. Right, so I'm going to take this off. Put this on. Be quick. More haste, less speed. So this is my Fuji and there's some really interesting inf details over here. So, so what I'm doing is, can you see over there, I'm going to zo zoom really closely in. Oh wow, that's amazing. So we check focus. So I've got it on F7, aperture priority, checking the histogram as low as I can get on here. And then I am setting the timer to two seconds. And it's as easy as that. This is probably the most amazing day I've ever had doing any photography in my life. It really just can't possibly ever get any better than this. I am in absolute heaven. So that has to be the most hectic half hour I've ever had. I'll tell you what, being hungry just went out of the window. I didn't really care about that at all. But it was the most awesome conditions I've ever shot in. I have to say, 
just being here was good enough. If I haven't got anything, I don't care. Well, I do care, I care a lot. So I tried to do three things, which is really bad. <laughs> tried to video, fly my drone and take stills. And I think, I think I did okay, actually. I think I got a great shot of Pano, which I, th I think a Pano was the shot because I took one close up, as you saw, with my long lens over there. And although the light on the top of that mountain was spectacular, I don't think the composition was just quite, quite good enough. And then down here with the S-curve was, was also spectacular, but I just think what was amazing to me looking at it and being here was this really big pano. I'm gonna print that out massive and put it on my wall because I want to remember this, I really do. Do you know, one of the things that I get asked a lot is, you know, how, how did you get into this? How, you know, how did you do this? And I think, you know, the most important thing, well, there's two things that are really, really important to do anything, I think, in life. And that is passion and hard work. And I think if you have passion and hard work, I think you can be successful at anything. I don't think I'm the most talented photographer. I'm definitely not the most talented videographer, but I am so passionate about it and I work really hard. Um, you know, I go to amazing places, but it's hard work that got me here. It's hard work that at the beginning when I did my PhD 20 odd years ago, it's hard work when I grew my software company and a lot of passion went into that. And when that passion died for being in software, then I, I, I took that passion into, into being a landscape photographer. And without that passion that drives that hard work, then you can't be successful at anything. So if you want to be successful, then first of all, make sure you're passionate and then put a huge amount of work into it. And I guarantee that success will follow. Anyway, what a day, what a day. <sighs> Thanks ever so much for watching. Until next Sunday, bye.